Every year in Term 2, years 5 to 12 combine for a week of worship. We believe that the spiritual lives of our students is one of the key aspects of life. And during this week, students are challenged to look outwards to others in their community and to God for guidance in their lives. Every morning there is a worship program which is student-led and is based around a certain theme. This year, the theme was Jesus Is, referring to the idea that Jesus is all things to all people, and each morning focused on a different aspect of who Jesus is to us. Eddie Hippolyte was the speaker who challenged the students to be others-focused and to live a life that Jesus calls all people to. With over 150 requests for prayer from students, it's safe to say that God's Spirit was moving and active during this week. Our grades 3, 5, 7 and 9 students all sat their NAPLAN assessments this term. Students are tested on literacy and numeracy skills over several days to help determine our school's rating within the NAPLAN system. We want to thank all the teachers who were involved in this process and congratulate all the students for their best efforts. This term, all of the Sydney Adventist schools combined here at Hills to celebrate our conference-wide Senior Day of Worship. With separate days for Stage 5 and 6, the event gives students the ability to make connections with other students from sister schools and to unite under our common belief in Jesus. The days were separated in two elements, a worship program and the Warrior Games. With all the schools competing against each other, it's safe to say that school pride was at an all-time high. At the end of every semester, our school focuses on STEM projects for Year 7 and 8 students. Both grades spent three days working on a group project that requires them to collaborate with their ideas and skills and project manage themselves to complete the brief on time. The Year 8 students were tasked to build a light display similar to that which is seen at the annual Vivid Lights Festival in Sydney Harbour. The Year 7s were tasked to build a bottle rocket that successfully launches and parachutes back to Earth safely. We value STEM here at Hills Adventist College for a multitude of reasons, but mainly for the memories that the students make along the way. On Thursday, 22nd of April, Kindergarten visited Parramatta Riverside Theatre to watch Magic Beach. As part of our literature study in English, we have enjoyed reading some of Alison Lester's books and this performance was based on her picture book, Magic Beach. Students enjoyed the fun and entertaining show. It captured the descriptive language and beauty of the story as well as the essence of a family beach holiday. On Thursday, the 25th of March, kindergarten from both campuses enjoyed a billy cart incursion relating to our unit on forces in science. Students enjoyed building their own creation out of wood, bolts and rope and then followed instructions to create a wheelbarrow or a scooter. The best activity of all was having a turn on the racetrack and steering the billy cart around it. Students had to avoid the kangaroo and learn to park at the parking station. A great time was had by all. This term, our Year 6 cohort took their annual trip to Canberra to learn about the governing systems of our nation and some of the history behind its development. Stopping in at museums of war and democracy, our students looked through the window of history to understand the important achievements and sacrifices that were made to make this great country of ours. Students also had fun at the Centre for Science and Technology, Questacon, and the Australian Institute of Sport. On the second last day of term, both campuses of Hills Adventist College made their way into Sydney Olympic Park for our annual Athletics Carnival. This logistical feat was organised by Mr Parmenta, and he should be congratulated for all of his efforts. This day was characterised by fierce competition, immense sporting house pride and records being broken by our elite athletes. With fine weather and lots of positivity, a great day was had by all and we eagerly await the results of who our 2021 Athletics House Champions are.